Howdy y'all, so today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom textures for use with the Optical Flares plugin. So let's dive right into this. As you can see, I've got a lens flare here, very basic glow, and that's so there's nothing distracting from seeing the texture in the background. Uh, as you can see, there is a nice looking texture, some different grunge, distress, watermarks, that sort of thing, watercolor marks. As you can see, you can come over here to the global parameters, click on that, come down to the editor here inside the lens texture section, and there's my custom grunge test file. So as you can see, I definitely have a lot more than the 10 default um, texture overlays that they give you when you buy the uh, plugin, and I'm going to show you how to create some of your own. So. First things first, you're going to want to open up Photoshop, and here's the one that I was just showing you. But let's just go ahead and make a new one. So we're going to do Grunge, let's make it Grunge 4. I don't have a Grunge 4 yet, so we'll call it Grunge 4. And you can leave the white background on there, or you can shut it off depending on what you're going for. If you leave that white background on, you're going to get some real high contrast, which is probably good because you can always fiddle with the settings in the optical flare menu and tone it down so let's just go ahead and leave that on create a new layer down here create a new layer nice new blank layer and then just go to your brush presets and if you don't have any grunge distress watercolor kind of brushes then go download some all you do is just add a few of these little guys there's a watercolor one. Let's add some cracks, add some grunge. So yeah, I mean, basically that's all you have to do is just, you know, leave some contrast in there. You don't want it all to be washed out. You want something looking like this, some really good contrast. And then we're gonna go to File, Save As, and take the drop down menu all the way down to the PNG. Save it to your glass folder as you can see the structure here and then hit save I just hit OK here I don't change any of these settings and then what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to close if After Effects is open you're gonna have to close it or if After Effects was already closed just go ahead and open it up we can open our file go down to our layer with our optical flare on it go up to our options Make sure we're on global parameters, come down to the lens texture, and here's our new Grunge 4 texture. That's looking pretty cool. So there you guys have it. You are now experts in building your own custom lens flare background textures. Um, hopefully somebody out there found this little tutorial useful, helpful, and informative. You know, if you did, hit that like button, follow me for more videos working in software programs like After Effects and Photoshop, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.